And that's it for this section. You've learned a ton of incredibly powerful features in Solidity, so let's do a quick recap of what we learned in this section. We learned that with the new keyword, we can actually deploy contracts from other contracts. We learned that we can actually import other contracts, which is essentially the same as copy pasting the code into this file. We also learned this thing called named imports, which is gonna make you look even better than most of the Solidity devs out there. We learned that we can interact with other contracts so long as we have the address and the ABI. The simple storage type automatically comes with the address and the ABI, so we can just access it like this. We didn't learn too much about the ABI, but we'll learn more about it later. We learned that if we wanna make a child contract and inherit the functionality of some other contract, we can just import that contract and then use the is keyword in the contract declaration. To override a function, we need the override keyword and we need the base class or the parent class to have the virtual keyword on the function you want to override. And that is the end of this lesson. So be sure to give yourself a huge pat on the back. Take a break. Breaks are good for your brain. Go for a walk, grab a coffee, get some ice cream. Go tell your friends, go post on Twitter. You're getting more and more advanced with Solidity very quickly. So be sure to celebrate the little wins to keep being excited and keep that curiosity. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson.